This chopper glitch let you fly around the map at high speeds, and this rubber glitch made your arms 10 times longer. These are 16 of the craziest glitches in Blocks Fruits history. Okay, so starting off, we have one of the most viral glitches in Blocks Fruits history, and if you're an old player, you should definitely remember this one. No. It's the chop fruit glitch. And all you had to do to activate this glitch was turn on your shift lock with the chop fruit activated. And then all you would have to do is use your C move and then switch to your sword as quickly as possible. Now just hold the A and D button while holding your spacebar and you should literally be able to fly across the map like you're using fly hacks. This glitch was amazing. You can literally go from island to island in a matter of seconds. And all you have to do is buy the simple chop fruit to do this. And if you use your sky jump ability, you could literally go to new heights. But overall, I'm really happy that the block fruits devs patched this glitch because it was just way too overpowered of a glitch and probably the most OP glitch on this whole list. Okay, so moving on, we got another pretty um, interesting glitch and I think this one just kind of speaks for itself. Alright, let's just go to the next one. Okay, so moving on, we got a glitch with a Buddha fruit. In the early days of the game, it had a ton of glitches that we can look at. So the first glitch is this hockey glitch. So basically, if you turn on your hockey at the right time as you untransform from your Buddha, then you would actually keep the massive hockey that you had. Which means your small avatar, like your small character, would be engulfed in a huge hockey of your huge Buddha. Making it look pretty funny if you ask me and it looks even funnier when you're walking around it doesn't have that much practical use unless you want to try and pretend being a rock in the middle of nowhere then maybe people won't see you and you can kind of sneak attack them Okay, so moving on, everybody knows about the X move from the rubber fruit, the gum bazooka. In the olden days of block fruits, if you use this ability and then you quickly talk to an NPC, then your arms will stay stuck forever behind your back, leading you to have some pretty goofy looking hands. And this glitch even stayed when you switched away from the rubber fruit, so you could literally switch to something like the chop fruit, do the flying glitch, and combine both of the glitches, making you a flying person with massive hands, and this looks super funny. But obviously, this is patched now, and can't really do this glitch anymore. If you use this rubber ability, if you combine it with the electric fighting style, then you get something like this, huh? which looks really funny. And you can also combine it with things like the ice fruit, letting you zip across the map in massive speed looking really goofy at the same time. Some of these old glitches were just really OP, but you had to be careful when you did this glitch because sometimes you'd actually glitch underneath the water and you would end up dying if you went for too long. Okay, so moving on, we got a glitch that's still in the game and hasn't been patched to this day. And I'm talking about the flash step glitch that lets you glitch through walls. Turn your camera to an angle where you can see behind the wall and then you just click your flash step key. And boom, you just teleport it outside the wall. First thing you can use it for is to just simply get through buildings faster. And the second one is to find really cool and glitch locations underneath the map. But this one doesn't have that much practical use. It's more so just finding cool things. But overall, still a really powerful glitch, and I'm not sure how it's not been patched yet. The next glitch on this list was discovered by a YouTuber named Identity Top Hat, and it's a pretty funny glitch with the Phoenix Fruit. One day, Identity Top Hat was just chilling in a normal PvP fight, and then he used one of the abilities for his Phoenix Fruit, and instead of doing damage to the player, it just glitched him underneath the map. But I'm not sure if there's any way to actually properly replicate this. I think it was more so chance, but I just recommend you guys out there, be careful while using the Phoenix Fruit, because you might accidentally glitch underneath the map and then wait there till your energy runs out and your flying ability deactivates and then you just end up dying next up we got a glitch that literally gives you infinite speed and for this one you actually need the permanent spirit fruit and any other fruit that's permanent when you have the spirit fruit equipped it is place all your spirits in the blue section and then what you have to do is swap to another permanent fruit and you will keep the speed buff permanently and then what you can actually do is switch back to the spirit fruit and you can keep repeating this process by putting all your spirits in the blue zone again and then you can switch back to another permanent fruit and the speed buff actually stacks and with this you can basically get infinite speed it just completely depends on how long you're willing to spend on it really overpowered glitch if you ask me next up on the list we got a pretty fun glitch that all of you watching can do right now all you have to do is head over to the cafe in the second seat and then you have to basically just sit on a chair and then this pretty funny glitch happens where it just kind of bounces you off and sends you flying away i'm not sure why this glitch still exists but maybe the chair just doesn't like you because it doesn't work on all chairs just a pretty funny glitch overall and it doesn't have that much practical use okay so next up we got another buddha glitch and this one is really funny it literally makes your head massive so all you have to do 
is go talk to the Awakenings expert who's located on the cafe on the second C and the mansion on the third C. And before I start this, I'm not sure if this glitch has been patched already, but the glitch was possible one year ago. So basically how it works is you just have to talk to the NPC and all you have to do is unawaken your Buddha fruit. And once you do that, you have to use the shift ability which transforms you into the normal Buddha form. You need to talk to the NPC again and then awaken your Buddha fruit. And if you do that and use your transformation again, it should only transform your head. I'm not sure why this glitch exists and I'm not sure if it still works, but it's really funny because it makes your head way bigger than your body and it just looks really goofy. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the next trick, you will not believe this, it's another Buddha glitch. Damn! And this one is kind of like the opposite from the previous one, it's a small Buddha glitch. But basically what happens is when you just use the transform ability on your Buddha food, it actually transforms everything but your body. You even get the long range attack along with the weird magical circle that appears around your character. But your character is still super small like a regular size player, but it even changes color to match the Buddha. And I don't think there's really a way to force this glitch, it just kind of happens randomly, but I think hyping has to do something with it. Okay, so next up on this list, we got a pretty funny glitch that has to do with boats and the way you do this glitch is by having the dough fruit equipped it. and once you have it just make sure you have this second ability awakened and then all you have to do is stand next to the driver's seat of the boat and then hold down the ability key and just walk straight into the driver's seat and if you do this correctly the boat should just start shaking rapidly and it just looks really funny and i think if you do this enough times it should be able to glitch underneath the map but i'm not 100 percent sure on that one overall just a pretty funny glitch and i recommend you all to try it Okay, so next up we got another random and pretty interesting glitch that happened around one year ago in Blocks Fruits. Just a pretty weird glitch that basically just doesn't let you jump. It basically makes your spacebar key really useless and you kind of just do flips in the same spot. A really goofy glitch if you ask me. Let's just go to the next one. Okay, so next up we got a portal fruit glitch that literally takes you out of the world. Really weird glitch, so basically you have to use the final ability of the portal fruit, the dimensional rift, and then if you use the spiky trident and use the dough hurricane ability, it might just teleport you into literally nowhere there's no islands in view you just see nothing you're just constantly falling till you reach nowhere really weird glitch and i think it happened to the user because they were on high ping so you guys shouldn't be worried about it okay so next up we got a glitch that i'm pretty sure only happens to mobile players out there when he used the roller donut ability from the dough food it what just got that? stuck and then he just teleported into the middle of the ocean and the glitch happened one more time when he used a different ability not sure why this glitch happened or what the cause of it is and i'm I'm actually surprised that this glitch isn't that well known because I'm pretty sure it happens to mobile players a ton of times. Okay, so next up we got a literal flying glitch. Well, not so much as a flying glitch, kind of just having like really long invisible legs, which literally lets you kind of just walk on mid-air. Really weird glitch, and this player found it just using the dough donut and just teleported them to the top of nowhere. And they can even ride the donut around the place and use other abilities on the NPCs below, which means the NPCs literally can't hit them, but they can hit them really overpowered. Then again, this glitch is really random, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching cannot replicate this. Most of these glitches are just due to high ping, or else they should be really hard to encounter. Okay, so this next glitch is one that's also really, really random, and it's just pretty weird. One day, a player named Kind Alpha plays, which is walking around, and he found a block fruit that spawned it, but there was actually another player standing on the block fruit without picking it up. And when he picked up the fruit, the player just disappeared along with the fruit. Just a really weird glitch. And if you encounter this, not sure what it means. Figure it out for yourselves. Hello. 